Can an Android phone finally beat the iPhone in raw performance? Well, if the latest leak is true, the Galaxy S26 might just do it. And it all comes down to the chip inside. Last year, Samsung's Galaxy S25 lineup only used one chip across. The board, the Snapdragon 8 Elite. But for the Galaxy S26, Samsung is said to bring back its old habit of using two different processors. Some models might run on the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2, and others might use Samsung's own Exynos 2600 chip, depending on where you buy it. But today, we're focusing on the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2, and this thing sounds like a serious upgrade. According to a trusted tipster from China who shared the info on Weibo, the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 chip will be built using TSMC's latest third-generation 3-nanometer process. That means it's going to be smaller, more efficient, and a lot faster. Let's talk numbers, because this leak included early Geekbench 6 scores. In the single-core test, the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 reportedly scores over 4,000 points. That's a 29% boost compared to the previous chip. In the multi-core test, it crosses 11,000 points, which is about a 12% jump over the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Here's the part that really stands out. This chip matches Apple's. Upcoming A19 Pro chip in single-core performance. But in multi-core tasks, it actually does better. That's a big deal, because iPhones have always been ahead when it comes to processor speed. But now, for the first time ever, a chip inside an Android phone might finally beat the iPhone. And we're not just talking about the CPU here. The Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 is also rumored to come with an updated Adreno 840 GPU, which is said to include 16 megabytes of graphics memory. For comparison, the GPU in last year's Snapdragon 8 Elite already outperformed Apple's A18 Pro chip, the one used in the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So now, with more graphics memory and better thermal efficiency, mobile gaming and video editing on the Galaxy S26 might be smoother than ever. This news is important for one big reason. Android phones have always been catching up to Apple in processor power. But if these numbers are right, Samsung could finally take the lead. Now, of course, these are early leaked benchmarks. Things can change before the final release. But the signs are pointing in a good direction for Android fans. And for those wondering, yes, the Exynos 2600 will also be used in some Galaxy S26 models, but we don't have benchmark scores for that chip yet. All the attention right now is on Snapdragon's 8 Elite 2 and how it might reshape the competition between Android and iPhone. It's also worth noting that this chip will likely be exclusive to certain Galaxy S26 models, especially in markets. Have you ever wondered why Apple still sticks to 60 Hz displays while almost every other phone moved on years ago? Well, it looks like that's finally about to change. And the iPhone 17 is bringing some serious upgrades that might even make Samsung a little nervous. Let's talk about everything that's been confirmed, from faster screens to a powerful new chip and more memory than ever before. Now, Apple CEO Tim Cook has reportedly been stressed out lately. Supply chain issues were causing delays for the iPhone 17 lineup, and that meant some of the features might not make it into the final version. But the good news? One of the most requested upgrades is happening. All iPhone 17 models will now come, with high refresh rate displays. That includes the base model and the new iPhone 17 Air. Now, not all of them will have what Apple calls ProMotion, which is just their name for a screen that goes all the way from 120 hertz down to 1 hertz. But what's confirmed is that every model will have a faster refresh rate than the iPhone 16. So what does that really mean? Most likely the base iPhone 17 could come with a 90 hertz display. That's way smoother than 60 hertz. If Apple goes even further and gives it a 120 hertz panel, even without variable refresh rate, that would be a huge leap forward for the base iPhone. And if you've ever used a phone with a 90 hertz or 120 hertz screen, you know how much better it feels. Once you try it, it's really hard to go back to 60 hertz. Everything feels faster, scrolling, swiping, even just unlocking your phone. But the screen isn't the only big upgrade this year. Apple's new A19 Pro chip is also shaping up to be something special. According to someone with ties to Apple's supply chain, the A19 Pro is getting a single-core score of over 4,000 and a multi-core score above 10,000 on Geekbench 6. To give you some context, last year's A18 Pro had a single-core score of 3,539 
and a multi-core score of 8,772. Now compare that to Samsung's top chip, the Snapdragon 8 Elite, that's powering the Galaxy S25 series. It scored 2,187 for single core and 9,525 for E4 multi-core. So yeah, the A19 Pro is not just better than last year's chip. It's also beating Samsung's best chip in raw performance. That's kind of a big deal. But Apple isn't stopping there. The iPhone 17 lineup is also getting a boost in RAM, 12 gigabytes across the board. Well, almost. There's still a small chance the base model might stick to less RAM due to those. Same supply issues, but Apple is aiming for 12 gigabytes of memory across all models. That puts it on the same level as the Galaxy S25 Ultra, which also comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM. Put all of this together, faster screens, more memory, and a new chip that's crushing the competition, and it's clear that the iPhone 17 is shaping up to be one of the biggest updates in years. Can a smartphone really capture fire without messing up the colors or blowing out the brightness? That's exactly what Huawei is trying to prove with its upcoming Pura 80 series. A recent video shared by Richard Yu, the chairman of Huawei's Consumer Business Group, gave us a quick look at what the new Pura 80 can do when it comes to video recording. And it's not just another promo clip. It's a direct demonstration of how well this phone handles one of the hardest scenes to capture. Flames. You see, recording fire with a phone camera isn't as simple as pressing record. Fire is tricky. It glows, it flickers, and its color changes depending on the temperature. Sometimes it's orange, sometimes blue, and it can throw off a camera's exposure really fast. Plus, the light from flames can distort nearby objects and make videos look blurry or washed out. That's why most phones struggle when you try to record something like a campfire or a birthday candle in a dark room. You either lose the detail, get weird colors, or the whole shot turns out way too bright. But according to Richard Yu, the Huawei Pura 80 changes that. In the clip he shared, the Pura 80 was used to shoot flames directly, and the result looked very clean. The flames layers stayed sharp, the colors were correct, and there wasn't any overexposure. That means the highlights, the brightest parts of the fire, weren't blown out. And that's important because it tells us the camera is doing a better job of balancing light and shadow in real time. Even more interesting, there was no need to adjust camera settings manually. Usually, to shoot something like this, you'd need to change things like exposure, white balance, or even find the perfect angle. But with the Pura 80, it seems like you just hit record, and that's it. The phone handles the rest. Now, while the teaser didn't go into technical camera specs, what it shows is clear. Huawei is putting serious focus on video quality, especially in difficult lighting. The company wants people to know that this phone isn't just about high megapixel numbers. It's about making sure every scene, even the toughest ones, looks great without extra effort. There were also a few hints about the phone's design. While Richard Yu didn't fully show the back of the device, subtitles and hand movements covered most of it, some Weibo users say the model he used was likely the Pura 80 Pro or maybe even the Pro Plus version. One of the giveaways? The phone. Was in Huawei's rose red color, which is usually used for higher end models. As for the build, it seems to have a large screen with slightly curved edges and a solid metal frame in the middle. It definitely looks like a premium phone. Now Huawei hasn't fully revealed the phone yet, but this teaser makes one thing clear. The company is really pushing video performance this time around. So if you're someone who loves recording, everyday moments, or just wants a phone that won't mess up a video of your next campfire, birthday, or fireworks show, the Huawei Pura 80 might be worth watching out for. What do you think? Would better video quality be enough to get you to try Huawei again? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this quick update, hit the like button and subscribe for more simple and honest tech news right here. Thanks for watching.